All right, uh, today's stuff, I'll start with the easy stuff. Um, the sum of vectors. So, if you had two vectors here, and they tell you to add them, sum means to add them. Right, all you do is you add the x's, so it's seven, and add the y's, three. And remember, since it's a vector, make sure you put the vector symbols, not rounded, because that would mean it's a coordinate. So this would just be two, negative four. Now, if they have the drawing of it here, they have vector u is six, negative two. Um, again, that's the u right there. They went over six, down two. So they went from here to here. And then V is negative eight, seven. So this is like an airplane flying to airports. They flew from here to here. Then they went, here's V. They went left eight and up seven. So they flew here. So when you add these two vectors, vector U plus vector V, it is negative two, five. Just add the x's, add that. And what that gives you is if you were to fly, instead of flying here to here and then there to there, if you would have just went from your first point to where you ended up, that is the vector u plus v, left two and up five. So on the assignment, in case I forget to tell you, they're gonna have, uh, they're gonna tell you to copy the two vectors and draw in a third one. You don't have to. All you gotta do is find u plus v. There's, we really don't need to draw them in to find that. Okay. So again, if they asked about equal vectors and parallel vectors, parallel would not intersect. So this, 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 and this. These four vectors are all parallel because, remember how you tell if lines are parallel? Same slope. These are all up one over two, up one over two, up one over two, up one over two. But the equal vectors, there are only two equal vectors. Which two of these five are equal? Right. This is the same length, but it's going a different direction. Okay. Uh, we're not doing anything in our assignments with equal or parallel vectors, so all we're doing is the sum of vectors. Okay, then the other part that we're doing is like yesterday's, you have to find the uh, magnitude and direction. Now in this one, today the ones we're doing, they're not gonna call it magnitude, they're gonna call it the speed. So remember, speed is exactly the same thing as magnitude, which all you actually find is the length of the vertex, or I mean the uh, vector, okay? So it's just the hypotenuse, right? Now, what they tell you here in our graphs, and the ones you do today, they don't go by ones. Um, I think they might all go by tens. Ten, ten. Yeah, the ones we're gonna do, they all are by tens. This one's by fives. So, the, rep the vector represents the velocity of a moving hot air balloon. The scale on each axis is miles per hour. So that's what it's gonna be labeled in. Oh. So when you draw this in, if we made the right triangle, you would have to do it this way. If you do it this way, you're gonna get the speed, the hypotenuse is the same, it's just your direction, the angle is not correct. Remember, the angle is always with the horizon, so it's out, <coughs> either right or left, and then down. So, in this triangle, if we had to give the component form of it, it's just left five, because remember, each mark goes by five, and down five, 10, 15, 20, 25, okay? To find the magnitude or the speed, we just do the Pythagorean theorem. 
And these are the lengths of the sides, but you can just disregard the negatives because they're going to turn positive. So it's 5 squared plus 25 squared, and then you square root it. is 25.49, which would be 25.5 miles per hour. Then you gotta find the direction. It's going down, which they've got it labeled as south, and left, which is west. So it is southwest, but remember you gotta find out more specifically how many degrees does it go southwest. So you need to find the angle formed with the horizon. Oh. So, that's angle J, and on these vector ones, you always use tangent, because you always know the two lengths. So the tangent of J equals the opposite leg, which is 25, over the adjacent leg, 5. So when you solve it, J is the tangent inverse of 25 fifths. So when I solve that, 78.69, so it would be 78.7 degrees southwest. So there's nothing new from what we've done in section 9.5 and 9.6. It's just, it's worded differently. They're talking about speed, magnitude, and vectors. Okay? So... When they ask for the direction, you gotta find the angle formed with the horizon. So if you had something like this, a vector like that, this would be the angle you would find right there. If it goes like this, this would be the angle you find. It's always gonna go out and then up or down to get to the end, okay? So remember, side to side, then up and down, not slope. Okay. And what's nice about this is you do always use tangent on vectors. And to find the magnitude or speed, you always do plus. The leg squared plus the leg squared, and then you square root it. So it's pretty easy today.